touch it. Don't touch I'm it. I'm not going to touch it. I just want to look. Hey, how come it didn't sting you? It did. It's ow, just that ow, ow, still. I live in this anemone, and I'm, I'm, I'm used to these kind of stings. Come here. Ow, ow, ow. It doesn't look bad. You're going to be fine. But now we know, don't we, yeah. that we don't want to touch these again. Let's be thankful this time it was just a little one. <gasps> Hey there, folks. Can you identify the creatures capturing your attention right at this moment? Indeed, you've hit the mark. They are indeed jellyfishes. Okay, now we're going to dive into the mesmerizing world of jellyfish. First, join with me and let's all say that name together. J-E-L-L-Y-F-I-S-H Jellyfish Wonderful work. Okay, who can share some initial thoughts about these intriguing creatures? Absolutely right. Jellyfish are indeed captivating creatures known for their gelatinous appearance and stinging tentacles. Okay, who would like to contribute another interesting detail about jellyfish? Spot on. Jellyfish have a very simple nervous system and lack a centralized brain. Instead, their nerve cells are spread throughout their body. It's a unique adaptation that helps them survive in their underwater world. Can anyone think of another captivating fact about jellyfish? Exactly. Jellyfish have a two-part life cycle. They start as tiny polyps attached to surfaces, and eventually they develop into the familiar medusa stage that we often associate with jellyfish. This dual life cycle is another intriguing aspect of their biology. Okay, guys, where can we find these mesmerizing creatures? Correct. Jellyfish are distributed throughout the world's oceans, and they can be found in various depths, from near the surface to the depths of the open ocean. Different species of jellyfish are adapted to different environments. What else can you tell me out, jellyfish? Well done. Nematocysts are specialized cells found in jellyfish tentacles that contain venomous harpoons. When a jellyfish comes into contact with its prey or a potential threat, these cells fire, injecting venom and helping the jellyfish capture its food or defend itself. Can someone share another captivating fact about jellyfish? You're absolutely right. The size of jellyfish can vary widely. Some are only a few centimeters in diameter, while others, like the lion's mane jellyfish, can have tentacles that stretch for several meters. Now, can you guys tell me one more interesting fact? Exactly. Jellyfish are sensitive to changes in their environment, such as temperature and water quality. Their presence and population levels can provide insights into the overall health of marine ecosystems. Very well. Let's keep exploring and find out more about amazing animals and how they live their special lives. This is bad, Dory. Hey, watch this! Boing, boing, <gasps> Dory. boing, boing, you can't Dory. catch me! Don't boing, bounce on the tops! They will boing. not sting you! Boing. The tops don't sting you! That's Ooh, it! Two in a row, beat that! Dory! All right, listen to me. I, I have an idea. Uh, uh, a game. A game. A game. A game. Yes. Ah, I love games. Pick me. All right, here's the game. Oh. Um, whoever can hop the fastest out of these jellyfish wins. Okay. Rules, okay. rules, rules. Okay. You can't touch the tentacles. Uh, only the tops. Something about tentacles. Got it. On your mark, get set. No, 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 wait, wait. Not something about them. It's all about them. Wee! Wait. Dory. Gotta go faster if you want to win. Oh, Dory. Oh. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> wait a minute. Oh. Dory. Wee. So we're cheating death now. That's what we're doing. We're having fun at the same time. I can do this. Just be careful. Yeah, careful I don't make you cry when I win. Oh, no, I don't think so. <laughs> Give it up, old man. You can't fight evolution. I was built for speed. The question is, Dory, are you hungry? <gasps> hungry? Yeah. Because you're about to eat my bubble. Cars, I see cars. Cars in the front of cars. Cars have to stop. Stop traffic. Cuddle party. Look out! They're so cute. Hey 
there, kiddos. Today, we're going to explore an animal that is known for its playful nature and amazing swimming skills. Any guesses on what this delightful creature might be? You got it. Today, we'll learn about otters. First, join with me to say that name. Come on, guys. O T T E R. Otter. Wonderful. Otters are known for their playful behavior and strong swimming abilities. Who wants to start us off with an interesting fact about otters? Exactly right. Otters have incredibly dense fur, which is the thickest of any mammal. This dense fur helps keep them warm in cold water by trapping air and creating an insulating layer. It's like having a built in wetsuit. Can anyone tell me what otters like to eat? That's correct. Otters primarily eat fish and small aquatic animals like crabs, mollusks, and frogs. They are excellent hunters and can catch their prey with remarkable skill, often using their agile bodies and sharp teeth. Does anyone know where otters live? Absolutely. Otters are found in a variety of aquatic habitats, including rivers, lakes, and coastal areas. They are quite adaptable and can thrive in both freshwater and marine environments, depending on the species. What interesting behavior do otters often display when they are in the water? Exactly. Otters are often seen floating on their backs, a behavior that is not only adorable, but also very practical. They float on their backs to eat, rest, and groom themselves. This position allows them to use their front paws to handle food and keep an eye on their surroundings. How do otters take care of their young? Does anyone know? That's right. Mother otters are very attentive and often carry their young on their bellies while swimming. This keeps the pups safe, warm, and close to their mother. It's a heartwarming sight to see them floating together. Can anyone tell me how otters communicate with each other? Correct. Otters are quite vocal and use a range of sounds like whistles, chirps, and growls to communicate. They also use body language and touch to interact with each other, which is essential for maintaining their social bonds. Otters are highly social animals and often play together, which helps strengthen their relationships. All right, let's wrap up our adventure by appreciating the playful and intelligent otters. Remember to keep an eye out for these fascinating creatures the next time you're near a body of water. All right, everyone, shall we go watch the movie again? Okay, let's go. What's going on, Dad? I don't know how. I don't know in what way. But I think this has something to do with... Dory! Water. 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 I need water. Are you crazy? How'd you get here? Uh, Dory! Dory! We'd never see you again. Aw, uh, me too. But darn it, no matter how hard I tried, I just couldn't forget you. Guess I missed the rest of my family too much, huh? We're family? Mm-hmm. Do you know what that feels like? <sighs> yes, I know what that feels like. Oh! Hey, hey, come on. Out of the truck. Those aren't your fish. Shoot. Oh, no, there goes our ride. Back in the water. Come on. Dory, the traffic is starting to move. Leave it to me, I got this. <clears throat> Uru! Uru! Becky! Becky, come back! We need your help! Becky! Ah! Ah! Dory, follow me! No, no, wait! We don't have Dory! No, no, Becky, wait! Stop it! We need to go back! Becky! Back! Back, Becky! No, no! Ooh, Uru! Ah! All right, everyone. That's a wrap for now. Let's catch up in our next video to explore more fascinating animals. Take care, guys. And remember, keep that curiosity alive and never stop learning.